And there was a, a stencil put on the Facebook page today. I don't know if anyone saw it, but yeah, there was, that was an option you could have done. When we do it in um, the pubs, we do, well, we do have a stencil ready made, so it does make it very easy. Right, we've got red, yellow, blue. I've got two reds, yellow, blue, and some white. I might need a bit of black later as well, but just a tiny touch of black if I need it. I, I can get it later on. You need a big brush. Big brush, middle brush, little brush. I'm actually going to use tonight a house brush, just to show you that you can, guys. You don't need to buy expensive equipment. You can just use a house brush. I worked the next day, you could use a house brush, an eyelash, an eyeshadow brush, and an eyeliner brush, and you'd have everything you need, guys. You don't have to have a gorgeous canvas to paint on. I'm actually painting on an old canvas tonight that I've painted over, thank goodness it's dry. Could you just angle it a little bit towards yeah, just a bit that way yeah. more, just for the lighting. Maybe Is just that even better? a bit more, like there, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I've painted over it. You can still see the stuff underneath. That doesn't matter. I'll actually add to it. It's going to give me some texture. It's going to give me a bit of texture on the underneath, to, and it'll be better for the sky. I love using a used canvas. So if you've got any old canvases lying around, just paint them white, guys, and paint over them. Right, I'm have another slurp of drink. Has everyone got a drink? Thumbs up if you've got drinks. Let us know what you're drinking. Mmm, it's delicious. I need to get that. Could you just stick that bottle in the uh, fridge for me, darling? I don't want it to get warm. Oh, of course not. Thank you. Right, let's get going. I've got my painty shirt. I've got my glad rags on. I've got my tiara on because it's dress up Friday. Let me have a look at what you're seeing. Okay, let's go. I think there's going to be a big shadow if I stand there, so it might be better if I stand here. Let me have a look. Oh dear me. We will get it right one day. Is that better with the light? I don't think it makes any difference, does it? Anyway, never mind. Um, right, we're going to start off with our little brush. Go about a quarter of 
quarter of the way up. So there's half, there's quarter, and we're just going to do a line across like that. And that's going to be our horizon line. Is everyone using red tonight for this? Yes, everyone can use red. Just like to check. Yep, yeah, I um, understand. Should I do some little shout outs? Oh, yeah. A few, yeah, few messages. Hold on. Well, actually, hold on a second, because we're going to... Um, we're going to get straight stuck in. I'm going to, with my little brush, I'm going to make some purple. Can you see that okay, Amber? Just Put down here? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to get a bit of red. I have got some crimson because it just makes a bit of purple. If you haven't got crimson, just use the red you've got. I've got a bit of blue. I want to make a dark purple. That's going to be for the darker bits in the sky. So there you go. Darker purple. They're really dark. I'm going to have these moody bits for clouds in the sky. I'm just going to wipe my brush off there. Like that. Just so it's not to waste the paint. I'm actually going to do this with, I did get a house brush, where is it? It's there, on the side. Oh! I'm going to start off with my house painting brush. Wet it, dry it, a bit of purple. And guys, I'm just going to hold my brush like this. I'm not going to sort of paint properly and I'm going to slide it along like that. So I'm not painting properly, I'm sort of just messing. So I've got it on the side. And I'm just creating the darker bits. I might join them up. And I'm going to have those going right across there. Music's slightly better tonight, which is a good thing. We did try having fabulous uh, music. It was all great stuff. We had Queen, we had... Um, who else did we have, Amber? When? When we got, no, almost got arrested. Oh yeah, oh, all sorts. All sort of 70s and 60s stuff. Shall I do some quick shout outs whilst you fill in that yes, sky? That would be good. We've got Wendy Harker watching oh, hi, and painting, Wendy. I think. Cheers. We've got Barbara Shoesmith, Gina oh, Kemmel. Cheers, Barbara. <laughs> you can't cheers everyone. We've got Norma Donnelly, Jen Jelly, ready to go. Lisa McNee Briggs, who's never done it before, so. Oh, hi. She's losing her tiddly painter's virginity tonight. Has she got an alcoholic drink? I hope so. And then we've got Gemma Grace, who's first time watching tonight. Debbie Ash, I assume, painting as well. Claire Gibbons, who has her gin with her. Oh, good, we've good, We've got good. Yvonne. Hi, Yvonne. Uh, Leanne Harker. Oh, hi. Gosh, loads of people. We've got loads of people on the gin tonight. It is a gin kind of night. I'm feeling it that. It is a Friday. We've got white wine. Shannon oh. Blanc. Uh, and another shout out to Sue Kirtley, who's joining in uh, tonight, or at least watching. So hi everyone there. That's I think that's I've that covered it? most most points there. Okay, well, I've got a bits of sky in. I'm going to wash my brush. I'm going to dry my brush. I'm going to keep it quite wet. I'm going to go in with a bit of a red. Are you preferring the music tonight? For yes, me? much. Where did you get this one? Oh, you're right in the, the wave. Oh, gosh. So I'm just sliding it around underneath the colours we've already put on, just like that. That purple's gorgeous. Yeah. It's nice for the sky, isn't it? This is just the underpainting, guys. We're going to mess on and sort it all out in a minute. So. Oh, we've got Karen Marrett, who it's her first time tonight, but she has got a drink in her hand, so she already knows the the, the way. Yeah. But the good thing about having a drink is it'll make you more creative and freer and bolder, which is what we want. So I'm just splodging around with my red. And I'm painting in a strange way with my brush. I'm sort of painting, what would you call that, Amber? Sort of on the side? Yeah, sort of scratchy almost, isn't it? Yeah. I'm sort of not painting like that. I'm sort of painting very hard. I've got the paint on that bit, and I'm sort of going like that. 
Debbie Ash says hello to her L NHS colleagues. That's great. Oh, wow. Hope you're taking this as a nice little relaxing, uh, relaxing time. Now put a bit of yellow in there. Gosh, don't we need our NHS at the moment? Aren't they fed up with the bloody government underfunding it for so many years? Oh, no. <laughs> not to get political. Okay, not to get political. There we are. So I've put a bit of purple on that we made earlier. I've put a bit of red on and I'm sort of sl I'm just sort of sliding around like that, guys. I'm not doing anything too serious. I'm putting a bit of yellow on. Anyone just give a little shout if you are behind or I'm anything I'm going to wait like after I've done this bit because we're going to get to the horizon bit. So I am going to, hang on. But you are, do you know this is a very Turner-esque sky. We are just playing guys as I'm sure Turner did. So it's just splodging around. We're going to sort it all out later. Just a bit of an underpainting to begin with. Like if anyone's done this with me before, they'll know that's what we always do. We like to get the canvas covered. And then we go in with some of the... So I am just playing around. Just creating a moody sky. We often get a moody sky in Northumberland. How many people have we got from Northumberland? I love Bambra. It's one of my favourite... Well, that part of the coast. There, Bambra, sea houses, but Veedmont. Veedmont's my real place. I love Veedmont. Oh, we've got loads of people who are painting for the first time with us today. That we've got uh, Joan's sister Linda painting for the first time. We've got Gwen and Steve painting for the first time. We've got red wine. Oh, cool. Oh, I'm still on one. Oh, hey. Let me come back. I'm coming back to have a look at it. That's a quite a dramatic sky, my love, isn't it? I like it. Red sky at night. Sailor's delight. Oh no, red sky at night, shepherd's delight, red sky in the morning, sailor's walk. That makes sense to me. Okay, we're just going to splodge the sky on. We're going to put the, the lighter colours in the horizon in a minute. Then we're going to put the sea in and then we're going to um, put our castle in. Sorry about that noise, it's the, uh, the dog scratching. It's we the can dog. never escape these animals. Could be worse. Could be a cat pooing somewhere, it's not unheard of. We've got a very dirty cat, guys, we don't know what's going on. Here she is. Aww. There she is. She's a lovely little cat, but she doesn't seem to know where she should go to the toilet, do you? Hmm, never mind. Okay. How are we doing, gorgeous girl? fine but we've been asked to slow down so we'll leave it there for yeah. a second because oh, yeah yeah guys you just want to splodge around us we've got a uh, claire holds with as well paint tonight it's her first time and she only joined because bamber is her favorite place in the world so oh yeah this will be a fabulous paint to go on your wall oh you're steve and you're a sailor oh and where do you sail steve Anywhere near Bambra? So you see that was all done with the household painting brush. You don't need specialist equipment to do this, guys. You just need brushes, you just need something to paint on. You don't need anything too special, but we have got back in stock our new, I shall show new you. New and improved, one might new say. New and improved painting packs which we are selling for anyone who needs any right. supplies. We don't have two now, we've just gone one. We've got yeah, the paint. just for one person as well. The paint is in tubes, so it won't spill out, all was good. You've got three brushes, small, medium, large. You've got a couple of pinnies. You've got a couple of very large boards, the same size as I use. So, you know, that is big. And we've got in there, we've also got, it has got loads of paint, we've got a couple of sheets of acrylic paper which is like really good quality paper um, and that bigger size and two in the smaller size so you've got six paintings worth there guys all for the oh, everything you 
need for 20 quid, guys, and you're going to get six paintings out of that. Um, we deliver in sort of yeah, in local. range locally. So if you're kind of in Northumberland or kind of just, you know, edging into Newcastle area, we'll do that. Um, which, but, is uh, which is a fiver. Yeah, so just and, a fiver on top of that 20. Yeah, a fiver on top of the 20. And if you... Um, you live further afield with poster, but that'll probably be a fiver because we've done poster boards. And it might, yeah, it might take a little while to uh, get yeah. to you because obviously all the stuff going on right now. But it is a good option if you don't have enough paints and you can't, you can't get your hands on the right stuff. Difficult to get it. Uh, guys, I've had real trouble getting hold of paint and stuff. This has never happened to me before. That's why it's taken us so long to get sorted with it, Amber, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, if you are interested in getting one of those packs, we've got limited stock and we're doing them every two weeks because um, that's when we get our deliveries. So it's best to do it like that. So if you get in touch quickly after yeah. tonight, you'll be you'll be uh, first in line to get some of the packs when we go. Anyone that them. has already been in touch about um, a pack, you obviously have got it. We'll, uh, you're first in line and we'll sort that out. So don't worry. What I've done there is you probably haven't got a canvas with sides and everything, but I've just painted them all so that when I finish, I can put it on the wall without having to um, frame it. Oh, slurping on. Oh, so Steve, he sails all around the world and he's now a marine surveyor, ex-Royal Navy and Merchant Navy. Ooh. Are you painting this evening, Steve? Oh, and Abby Johnson and Co are back. Hi again. Oh, hello. Hello, the Johnsons. Hmm. Is everyone there? If you get, if you're at the same level as us, put, put a thumbs up in, and that's how we can get a good measure of where everyone is to continue. Because obviously, it's hard with these being live to uh, to see what everyone else is doing. So yeah, just put a little thumbs up in if you're ready to carry on, and we'll crack on. Less technical difficulties than last Friday. Oh, well. loads of thumbs up. And if you're really, really dreadfully behind and going, oh, no, Stephen's please. painting, fantastic. Put a sad face if you're not ready con to continue on as well. Double. We could explain twice. Yeah. Right. I've wet my brush and I'm drying my brush because I want it relatively clean. I've got an old rag to clean my brush on because I find that's better than kitchen roll or and you can't get hold of toilet roll at the moment. So. Okay, and what we're going to do now is we're going to slide pure yellow in. Same method. Sarah Johnson's watching, but not painting tonight, oh, but she is drinking. Oh, well, that's, that's So, you know, that's the half of it, so. Yeah, yeah. Why isn't she painting tonight? Oh, did she wait? She, I think she might be one of the ones waiting for a, a, a painting. There we are. I want a little bit more orange over the castle, so I'm going to slide in with that now. Do 
You're right in the way there. I'll not, oh, not lie to you, yeah. Is that better? There we are. Not too many shadows. Oh, got a bit of blue in there. Never mind. I'll go the other side. Just the light's better for me on that side. And I'm sort of sliding it like that because I'm getting a lovely sort of... What colour is that you're using there? Orange. Bit, bit of yellow, a little bit of red. And I'm just sort of sliding it around just to get a bit of something going on. I'm going to get a little touch of white. Then I'm just going to slide that across there. Just right across on the visible horizon line. And a little bit higher there, where the castle's going to come. There. I feel like paint along with Nancy tonight. It's because we're painting something that's so dramatic, I think. I'm going to let the sky dry a bit. We're going to put the um, the sea in. Is everyone ready to get the sea in? Amber, how are we doing? Any thumbs? Not this second. But yeah, put some thumbs up in, guys, if you're ready to go. Much better music, Amber. Thank you. Mine just couldn't have been any worse than it was the other night, to be It could have. I'll tell you some of the ones I listened to that were royalty free. Oh really? Yeah. Copyright free? Yeah, same, royalty free. same thing. Oh, I think. I, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> okay, thumbs up. No? A couple of them, yeah. Get a bit of distance from your paintings if you can, guys, just to see what you what they're looking like, what you think. Did anyone paint with us the cow the other day? It was gorgeous, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a good one. I loved the cow. Not that I don't love Bambra, but you know. The cow right. was particularly fun. I've got a bit of my purple. I'm not going to clean my brush. I forgot. <laughs> okay, I'm going to slide it along there. Do you remember how you made the purple, guys? We had a bit of red, tiny bit of blue. We want a darkish purple. And this, the water. Any water is always just a reflection of the sky, so... I'm going to go in with some of my red. Now you want to keep to that sort of shape guys, can you sort of see what I've done, I've come round from there and round because we are going to have this as a bit of a beach here and this is going to be the sea lapping up. I'm making a wee bit of orange which is yellow and red and then just sliding that in as well, I'm using the same sort of stroke as I used for the sky, so just, just messing around really guys, nothing too dramatic. No Jenna tonight then? Don't think so, I've not seen her say anything. Hmm? We've lost Jenna. No Cassie or Susan. I've lost all the regulars, guys. I think we're doing too much, do you? I'm um, getting <laughs> bored of this. We've got quite 
a lot of people just watching tonight, which is really? interesting. You must be quite a spectacle torch, eh? I don't know why. <laughs> oh, shout out to Hazel Bennett. Um, it's her first time painting tonight and she's recovering from a hip operation in oh. Newcastle. Oh, so well, hope this takes your mind off it a bit. Oh, sorry, just the, the lighting mind off what's bloody going on, isn't it? Watch yourself with that light in there. Oh, sorry. Just, so what are you doing there, just to go over again for everyone? I've just put the sea in, so I went over with a dark purple there. I've lost my horizon a bit, but don't worry, I'll pull that back in a minute. So don't worry if you've lost it. I did purple along there, bit of orange, bit of yellow, and I've sort of kept it to this line here, because I am going to have that as sort of the, the shoreline and the sea coming in and out. I'm going to put a few little rocks. Can you see this one? A few little rocks on. I'll hold this one up so you can see. So that's the sea going across. It's coming onto the beach. We're going to have a few rocks and that's all going to be sand. It's wet sand reflecting the, uh, the sky. Dead easy, isn't it? You know, people think it's hard to do things like this. It's not, is it? It's easy. I'm still just using my house painter's brush. I'm not using anything special. I'm using the brush you'd use to do gloss paint properly. Yeah, so in the pack, nice actually... Brush. It's not a horrible paintbrush. It's quite a nice one. I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying it, actually. I'm enjoying the texture that I've got. What do you think, Amber? Yeah, no, really effective. Yeah. Well, in our packs, we don't include like a very very large brush just because they're very hard to kind of get a hold of so we suggest to everyone that buys one of our packs to uh get to get yourself to piece. use one of your brushes from just your painting your wall in your house for yeah, the larger definitely. areas because we are just slapping it on guys we are just slapping the paint on we're not being too precise i'm gonna make a little bit of yellow ochre in a minute I'm gonna wait for you to all catch up to make the yellow ochre because that is a little bit tricky and while i'm waiting for you all to catch up i can have another drink i actually put a little challenge on the notes for anyone who's been watching us quite regularly if they know already how to make yellow ochre to prepare it before we okay. well they should have just, just, a, just a little should've... task has everyone seen i've got my tiara on for dress up friday and and i've got a nice dress on and i've got makeup on and i feel better because you know it's just awful at the minute isn't it just wandering around all the time in pajamas slippers not washing me hair <laughs> dear me it wasn't like that in the good old days i need another drink can my can my production assistant get me another drink or shall I get it myself? I can get it for you. It's probably... I'm off, I'm off, I can't wait. I'm... Oh. guys how are we doing eh? uh yeah one or two hold on a second mm. yeah we've got a good few so okay Anyone who's, if anyone's terribly stuck, do say. Right, did my little brush, cleaning it. Cleaning it quite well, because I did make purple with it earlier. Okay guys, we're going to get, can you all see? Bit of yellow. Bit of red, we're going to make orange. Should get nice orange there, can you see that orange? Yeah. Oh, I do need the black. Is there any black here knocking around? Oh, don't worry, I'll use this. Right, I'm going to put a tiny bit of black in there. 
and I'm making a murky yellow. Can you see that, guys? Can you see Amber? Is that a good place? Yep, perfect. Putting a little bit more yellow in, and what I want is like a murky yellow, which is equivalent to yellow ochre, more or less. And there we go. I'm just going to slide that in there so as not to waste it. I'm going to get a bit of my purple from before. which is red and blue and I'm just going to put this roughly around where I want and I'm doing this with my middle brush and this is where I want the um, where the waves are coming in you know where the, the water I want it just a little bit darker did everyone see uh, about the old toothbrush oh yeah we're going to do that in a minute I'm just remind. I'm just just seeing if everyone saw that. And yeah, you do need an old toothbrush, guys. Are I'll there any alternatives? Um, a hairy brush, if you've got one. <laughs> yeah, just an old paintbrush would do as well. There you are. So I've got that a little bit darker. We're going to sort it in a minute. With you know, it's all going to come together, guys. As always, it looks a bit dodge at the minute. But it will all come together. Right, I'm going to get in going with my yellow ochre now. And I'm just sliding that up to that purple carefully because I don't want the purple going into my yellow ochre. Like that. Oh, is my shadow really bad there? Should I go around this side? Yeah, that's alright. Sarah Scott has asked, Hi Karen, we have really enjoyed the painting sessions. Is it possible to reuse old canvases? Well, that is exactly yes. what we are doing tonight. That's why this canvas has got a bit of a bumpy kind of texture. We've just painted over... What did you pay, use to paint over? Just like house paint? Well, you can use house paint, but you, you'd be better off using... Actually, I've got this here. Gesso is really good, but you probably want to have gesso. The gesso is really good, or you could just use white acrylics. Yeah, but, just paint over it with anything. Yeah, or, a few or you can use white emulsions, just that it will flake off in years to come. And if you want to keep it forever, that would be really sad. Probably you would. Well, you might. There you are. Okay, so that's going to be like the beachy bit there. I'm going to wave that all up and make it look more spectacular later. So I'm just putting a bit of purple on to get that up to there like that. There we are. Perfect. And we're going to stick our castle in. The tricky bit, really. So yeah, if you did print out a stencil, thank you. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not wasting my time. Um, but when you normally use stencils, because you, when you do this painting live... When you do in, it in pubs. Yeah, the pubs and things, you do tend to use a stencil, don't you, Mum? Just yeah. to make it kind of... Because people can be funny about castles being accurate as well can't they so yeah. if you want like an accurate castle that was kind of what that was for if you're not so bothered about it being Banbury you just want to do a nice castle well um, I'm still going to try and talk you through how to get it like Banbury hopefully it will work right I'm using a bit of my purple I've mixed it with the orange and I've got like a murky dark brown now. I'm just going to put a few shapes in here and there. I 
just going to be sort of like rocks and stuff. We're going to sort it all out later, guys. So that's all we're doing at the minute. A few just shapes in there. One, two, three, four. I'm not going to have an even number. I'm going to put another one, a little one there. And there we are. Never have even numbers, guys. It doesn't work. Okay. Quite well on. you're all ready guys we'll talk you through it step by step i have done a charcoal drawing of it and sort of slightly bigger than we wanted so we can all see what should be happening and we'll just do our best yes you can fit that was you can paint on top of other paintings. That was on top of another painting. It was on top of... Um, one of the kids' ones, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, one of the kids' ones of a cat on a with a moon and a tree I or like something. I one. Well, we kept, we kept the first one. We kept yeah. the original one. It was the one that Did was done class. during the class. Often you find that the ones you do during the class aren't as good as the original ones. Like, keep all of the original ones because to use again in different classes, yeah. but I, I often paint over the other ones and I actually prefer painting on a used canvas. It's got a painting underneath. Artists have always done that. You know, on the Antiques Roadshow, they'll be messing on and they'll find a painting and they'll, they'll look underneath it and there's a, an old masterpiece there occasionally. Not very often, granted, but you know, occasionally. Yeah, when I've been doing the kids' parties, I've had kids not believe that I actually painted the original because of how bad the one I did in the lesson was. So yeah guys, just put a thumbs up when you've got up to that stage. show the other day wasn't it what, yeah. uh, what show was that james martin mm. okay i'm gonna leave that there so that we can all see can you see that amber i'm just gonna angle the camera down a little bit that's basically the shape but i'm going to talk you through it here so don't worry 
Right, we're gonna get our little brush. And we're gonna make a bit of brown. So you want some yellow, tiny bit of red, bit of black in there. Same as we made the yellow ochre, but more black, because we wanted darker and we wanted brown. I'm gonna, I haven't got any black, I'm gonna put a bit of blue in. Now I want it much darker than that. Can you all see what I'm doing, Robin? Yeah. Just hold it up a bit more into the light. Oh, we've got Grandma Jan watching again tonight. Hi there. Oh, painting, oh and Grandma she's got Jan. our rainbow painting. Is her profile picture? Um, oh, and Amina. Oh, is Amina watching? Yeah, she says, I'm not painting, just drinking wine and watching. I wonder oh, how many people are just drinking wine and why? watching. Why? I want you all painting. That's the whole idea. It's very mindful. If I guarantee you, if you paint, you won't think about anything else apart from getting your castle in your sky right for two hours or approximately. You know, it's really, really good for you. I wanted quite a dark brown, so I'm going in with quite a lot of blue, because I don't have black. Um, it's becoming a bit of a greeny brown, but that's all right, I'm just gonna go with it. So I'm gonna start off sketching in my land. So I want to cover... Watch your shadow again, sorry. Okay, hold on. What we need is some studio lighting. We do, we need studio lighting. We need a production team, darling. Right, there's about half. Okay, guys, can you all see? That's about half of my canvas, but I'm going to go a bit further than half. Like that. And I'm just sort of sketching in the land at the minute. And then I'm just going to get my middle brush. I'm going to wet it so it's a bit flowy and then I'm just going to sketch in that land. I might have to go and get some black in a bit, I haven't got any black. Have We've got some in the, uh, in the other room, I don't have to go into the get studio, you do I? Yeah, it might be useful because I do want it a bit, little bit darker than this. So I'm just sketching in the land. And I'm going to put the castle on top of that. There we are. While it's wet, I'm just going to slide a little bit of yellow in here and there. Just to make it look more like round. Um, if you've got the stencil, good question. Um, the land is included in the stencil. Yes, so yes. what you do is you literally cut out the center, stick it on, and then um, fill the inside with, with the... The or, whole thing with brown. With brown, yeah. And then you can take the stencil off and you should have the kind of rough outline. You'll have the rough outline and then you the can land do, yeah. and the castle. And then you can do some details. The and then we'll do the detail, you can do the detail with me. But people that haven't got the stencil, this is roughly how to do it. So just get the land in. Shall I bring us in a little bit closer? Much easier if you've the... got the stencil, just stick it on and paint the whole thing brown. But yes, put it on quite firmly because you don't want the paint slipping around underneath the stencil or anything like that. Or you could always put the stencil in and just do the outline of the stencil and then take the stencil off and fill in the centre. It doesn't really yeah. matter, as long as you get the kind of outline. It is just the outline that you're looking for. I'm going to bring us a little bit closer for the detail elements, okay. if that's alright with you. Yeah. And lower it. Sorry if the... I'm going to do a little bit more work in the sky in a minute. 
after we've done the castle. We're going to get the castle in just to get it done, really. We're going to, then we're going to get it in, go back to the sky, sort the sea out, and then put some detail work on the castle. Amber's going to get me some more black. I'm going to have another drink. Hey! Guys, I'm trying to create the feeling of a real tiddly painter's night out. A real tiddly painter's night out. You have wine, you have friends, you have painting. It's a fabulous night out. That's what I'm trying to recreate on my own with my production team, which is my daughter Amber, and um, a deaf dog and a cat. Yeah, don't know if I'm achieving it, but I'm trying really, really hard. Um, yeah, I am. helping guys the fizz is helping okay shall we get going with the castle thumbs up if you're ready Gina Kamal Gina is going to come up north we're old friends she's got a painting pack on the way we send it off tomorrow and we are going to go to um, Bamborough Castle. I'm going to take her to Bamborough Castle if she's painted it. You want to see the daft dog? Oh, dear me. Well, she is here. What are you talking about her, are you? Oh, yes. You're obsessed with that dog. Are you showing me? I will show the dog. She's asleep. Lula! Hello. Hello. She's grumpy. <laughs> She's very Hello. grumpy. She's been out for a jog with me today. And Mina will be pleased I'm still jogging. Oh, she's camera shy. Tell you what, she wasn't like that when she nicked my shoe and ran off with it earlier, mm. but you know. Mm. Plays all coy for the camera, but... Okay, are we there, guys? Thumbs up. We'll get the castle in. We're just going to sketch it in quick. And then we're going to do some detail work on it after we've done the sky. There we are. I've actually made my brown a little bit darker because Amber brought me some black very kindly. Watch for the shadows. I know, I'm coming round. Oh, you see, I can't paint from this side. She doesn't care anything. Okay, is everyone ready to go with the castle? I'm going to start it. I'm going to put two little lines. We'll start it here. And I'm going to finish it there. So they're just two little lines just to tell me where I'm starting and finishing. Helps me. So you've got a line there. And the line there. And then I'm going to put this up so I can see roughly what's happening. Okay, there's going to be. I'm going to do one bit at a time, guys. A bit like that. So just a rectangle. Actually, should we get everyone, if, you, if you're able, can you put a little thumbs up in so we know you're all at the same point and we yeah, can guys, follow exactly. it would be really good if you were all together on this bit. Because this is the tricky bit. Once this bit's done, we've done the hard work. What colour is that? It's a murky brown. Doesn't matter just yet. We're just getting it in and then we're going to sort it. So I'm not going to worry about the murky brownness. For anyone who's got little little ones and if this is your first time watching, we also do free live stream events for kids as well on Tuesdays. So this Tuesday coming up, we're doing the ostrich, the ostrich who is just behind the... Behind I'll show that. you in a minute. I'll show um, you so yeah, we're doing that. And then I think we're just going to do another one on... Another Thursday. adult one We're on doing Thursday night. On Thursday night, and we are painting 
The Birds and the Bees. Oh, The Birds and the Bees, yes. For who was that for? David. Dave. Dave. I think so. Dave the Bee Man insisted we did bee Bees, but then apparently he's gone away. He's gone out off to sea as well. That seems to be a common theme. Off to sea and isn't going to be here to do the painting after we've sorted it all. Typical. <laughs> typical. Typical male behaviour, I feel. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Are we there? Then? Yes, yeah, we're there. We, um, Cheryl Adamson's asked what colour we're using. We're using just the brown that you used for the island, really. I'm just using it with a little brush and sort of being scratchy with it. So we've done a rectangle and a little bit beside it, guys, like that. I'm going to come in even closer. Okay. Can everyone see all right? And then we're doing... Another bit. Oh, it's their son, Dave. Steve the sailor. No. Yes. I don't believe it. It is. No, get lost. It is. It's Yeah, it's Steve the sailor's son, Dave, the beekeeper. Wow. Well, they're keeping it in the family, aren't they? Well, we're painting Dave's bees next uh, Yeah. Are next you going to paint them then if he's not going to be here? <laughs> On behalf. Now these bits are all sort of rectangles that are going to be about the same size. We want one, this one's slightly bigger, two. So it's kind of going up in scale, isn't it? Oh, it is. Dave's watching. Wow, the whole family's here. Are you all together? I hope you're all painting. I get this awful feeling sometimes that I'm the only one painting and everyone's just messing around. I'm going to stop now and talk you through what I've done. It's kind of like stairs, isn't it, almost? Well, sort of. Kind of getting a bit taller and a bit wider. that idea if it gets bigger each one, doesn't it? Oh, maybe. Not now, though. Oh, Dave, actually, Amber's designing your uh, painting. Verily, as we speak, I'm going to get her to show you in a minute what we're doing. Well, if you guys like it, if it's not, if it's not something people will be interested in painting, I can try and sort of redesign it. it was just, it's just a, a quick one. God, this music's getting on my nerves again, Amber. It's getting on my nerves, it's getting on my nerves. No, please, and you. You find some. This one? Yes, this is better. Right now, here we're going up quite a big step. one it's all right it's not well sort of okay there we go I'm doing one at the end like that and I'm going to join that up there like that so we've got a lower did everyone follow that all right I'm going to talk you through you can it. just Literally copy it as well, of course. Right, got a little one, and then one. And then these three are roughly the same size, then down and up. Basically, that's it. I'm going to stand back and let you all do that. I'm going to put the turrets and stuff on later and the detail work in later and it will start looking more like Bambra Castle, I swear. Any second now. See, I'm off for another drink. There we are.
Oh, Beverly's watching. She's sorry she missed the beginning. Why are people watching? Why aren't they painting? I don't understand. Do you understand, Amber? I think you're entertaining enough. I don't bloody think so. It's all about the painting, guys. I'm going to paint the, um, the back, the ground sort of going down like that, there, from there. There we are. Give me thumbs up when you've got the basic shape of the castle in, including the lady with the uh, stencil, and then we will let uh, put the turrets on. I think you're right, Cheryl. Cheryl said there mustn't be much on TV. I think she is rather. I think she's right. I don't think there is much on the TV. And I've stopped watching the news, guys. I was watching the news avidly initially, but you know, I just stop stopped now. I think if anything drastic happens, someone will tell me. Actually, they might let everyone out and no one tells me, and I might be still staying in. Everyone else is going out. <laughs> That would be annoying, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, darling. Stick that over there. Right, we're ready for turrets. Come on, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm turreting. I'm having one turret here in the middle. I'm having no turrets on that one. I'm having a turret there. A turret there. A turret there. And a turret there. It's a four on that one. Just stick them in guys, we can sort them out later. Now on this higher one, we've got quite a few turrets. We've got one like that. One slightly higher. Slightly higher. A bigger gap and a little one. I'm hoping this is accurate. And then a big one at the end. Here. And then on the very last bit, lots of little ones. How many? One, two, three, four. disappointments why um, perhaps on the heathen um it's just it's not like i think it's not like a proper castle it's um it's just done with proper furniture not castle furniture it's just like house furniture you just go in there's like a settee and <laughs> it's not like chillingham castle now chillingham castle i think is done like a castle but you know that might just be my opinion Right, I'm going to leave the castle now to dry and then we're going to go back in and put some detail work on it and sort it all out. We're now going to go back to the sky when you're all ready. Can you move the, do we leave the camera there for a little while? To yeah, just leave it for a second. Put some thumbs up in guys when...
Shireen Lemur. My daughter and I love your paintings. We are looking forward to trying one together. Are you going to do it on YouTube? All the paintings, after we've done them, I'm sticking them on YouTube for people to, uh, to do. I'm going to put a little bit of work into my rocks, just with this darker brown. Just here and there. Where's the light coming from? I'm going to have the light coming from there, so it'll be slightly darker on this side, I think. I'm only doing this while I'm waiting for you guys to catch up on. Yeah, if you're if you've rushed ahead, you can join in and all. There we are. Okay, any thumbs, darling? Yeah, a couple. Ooh. here do you that shouldn't be there that should be really straight your horizon line i don't know what i've done I can sort it out in a minute yeah i will I'll move us back a little smidge. Thank you. Right guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to do some uh, final work on the sky. It should be dry now. Want you to wash your brush. Give it a good old splodge. I've actually got two cups of water now. I'm organised. Good old splodge in the water. What we're going to do is first off, I am going to put some little bits of yellow beneath these uh, big shadowy clouds. Just like some of them, not all of them. I'm at two in the way, Amber. No, you'd be fine. I've put a little bit of white into my yellow and I'm just sort of putting little bits of light into the... I'm using my middle brush, but I'm doing the same sort of technique. A sort of flat brushing it, I call it. Is that too much, Amber? You've got a distance there. You can um, maybe a little bit on the left. I want quite a dramatic skyline, guys. I'm coming back from a look from a distance. Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, I'm liking it. It's really good. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm liking this. I'm not going to do too much more to it. As soon as you're happy, guys, stop. More paintings are spoiled through people overpainting and messing around. Or as long as there's no children around, farting around with their paintings, they ruin them. They ruin them. I've seen it happen so many times. Right, I'm going in here where I've messed up, guys. You mightn't have messed up there, so you mightn't need to do that. I'm just putting a little bit with my little brush. A little bit of white along that horizon where I messed up. Pamela's asked if we're going to be uploading this later. Yes, we are. It'll be on the page still for the next couple of days. And then following that, it'll be on YouTube. So actually, if anyone knows anyone who they think would enjoy doing this, if they need a bit of time to kind of relax, if they're very busy, maybe just let them know that this is this is here. Share it. It's always good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. doing it afterwards aren't they yeah it's good though because it means you can still do it but at the time that suits you so yeah oh you can start it and get bored and go back to it finish it later yeah or you know if you're a bit frustrated with how it's going it's always good to take a step away yeah, and come back to good. it right let me have a look Get a bit of distance whenever possible. Yeah, it's coming together, isn't it? I need a bit of work on the um, foreground. What do you think, Amber? Yeah, I like it a lot just to see at the front, yeah. Don't you think the beach? Oh, the beach, yeah. Sorry, that's what I meant. I said sea, but I meant... You meant beach. I meant beach. Yeah, I'm going to go into the beach. Oh, is everyone up to speed? Yeah, we'll wait. Give, put some thumbs up again in, guys, if you're ready to keep going. You do have a tendency to get carried away. Oh, I know. I, get, I do. I get carried away. I want to do it now. I'm all. I'm all in the, the zone. And that's why you should paint, guys. It makes it's really mindful. All you think about for the whole time you're painting is getting your painting right. You won't be thinking about the shopping. You won't be thinking about what's going on in the outside world. You'll just be thinking about getting your painting right. Yep. It's not true, Amber. Very true. Not that I've had time to sit down and do one. Yeah. Right, guys, I'm going in. I can't wait any longer. I'm just sort of brushing a bit of orangey brown into my sand. It's wet sand and it's reflecting the sky as well. I want little bits of the lighter yellow, but I want just some darker bits here and there. How are we doing, Amber? Does everyone? Well, no one's Shouting. said anything yet, so we'll just... Yeah, so obviously you can just give us a mention if you're not ready yet. I'm actually going to go in now with a wee bit of orange. Not too much, but it's just... I want it to be reflections in the wet sand. Oh, I'm 
am I shadowing it again, Amber? Oh. oh. What colour was last for the sea, Mum? What are you doing with... What colour are you on? This isn't the sea, guys. This is the beach. No, what colour was it last for the sea? It was white, wasn't it? The little a little bit. bit of yellow. Pale yellow and just sort of splodged around in there. Just... I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I know I've gambled on. I'll talk you through what I've done. I'll have a pointer. I've put a little bit of yellow into there. Into the sea. We're doing sort of reflections of the sky. I sorted out the horizon line. You mightn't need to do that. I put some little bits of yellow in there. We've got that darker bit that we did earlier here. And then I put some other colours into the beach because mine was looking a bit yellowy. Yours mightn't be, yours might be fine. I've put some orange in and I've put little bits of, of uh, like the brownie colour, just the darker yellow. The yellow ochre that we made. I've just splodged around with it really. Just repeating the colours that are in the sky really. That's all we're doing. Because as I said, the uh, the water is almost just a reflection. I'm going to put some little bits of yellow in here just to make it look like it's flowing. We're going to put some white in in a minute, which is going to make it look really like water. But you know, we haven't as yet. I'm coming. I'm coming to stand back. Let me have a look. Yeah, that's looking better. Thumbs up when you're ready to go, guys. We haven't put any white in yet. We're going to do white in a minute. I put some very pale yellow in, just patches here and here, here and there, just to create the shape of the clouds. And that was just yellow with a tiny touch of white. I'm going to put some little bits in here. Just where, oh, that's too white. Just where the sun is hitting it. I'm sure there must be something on the telly that I could be watching instead of this. I'm going to have to have another drink in a minute. Catty's slow this lot, aren't they? Hmm. You are right in the way. Oh, am I? Yeah. <laughs> sorry guys, sorry. I'm stepping back. Do you think I've got too much yellow in the sky? No, I like that. Do you? Yeah, I do. You don't think there's too much up here, look? No, no, I see. Yeah? Maybe that bit, yeah. So, you, guys, you can just, the beauty of acrylics, you can just change it up whenever you want, you know. I'm going to go in with a bit more of your purple there, where I, I think I've got a bit too much of the yellow. I'm being you're at a distance, what's that like? Is that better? Yeah, better. Is it? Definitely, yeah, honest. She says anything, just to keep me quiet. Not true. I'm just playing now, guys, when I'm waiting for you. I'm not doing anything dramatic, I'm just playing. Right, thumbs. We're going to do the detail work on the castle if you're ready. really nice. I'm getting that old toothbrush. Yeah, grab your toothbrushes guys.
How's everyone's looking? my brownie colour that I had from earlier. Tidying up my turrets a bit. I'm just tidying them up a bit because mine were a bit tatty. Yours might be fine. Oh, some people aren't very happy with their, their paintings. Tell us why. Just takes a bit of a bit of work. Just keep working at it. What's you can, wrong? I'm not sure yet. We're gonna we'll try and see. But um, you can. Yeah, guys. What I've discovered through I mean I've, I used to work in schools and I've been an art teacher for a while. Is the people that aren't very good at art are the people that give up. They're the people that go, oh my god, it's rubbish, and stop. The people that just persevere are the ones that get good. Art is just practice. I think everyone's an artist. I think it is either just practice, wanting to do it, and just messing around and just play until you get it right. It's not finished yet, guys. Mine doesn't look right yet, does it? Not compared to the other one. Have a look. So what are you doing here? I'm just touching my castle up. I've gone in with the black where I told you to on each bit, dividing up these bits, um, the different sections of the castle, if you remember. I've just put a little bit of black there just to differentiate. And then I've gone in and just blended it a bit with a bit of brown. So I want it slightly darker on that side and then we're going to um, pick out some highlights in a minute. It's all going to come together guys. Honest. If you tell us what's wrong I'll try and talk you through what I think you could do to, to sort it out. You want the black on that side of the parts. Do you remember we had it all in different parts before? You want your black on, as you look at it, the right side of each bit. I'm going to put some highlights in a minute. We're just going to make it all come together, guys. I'm going in with my brown now and just creating a bit of... We're going to um, put 
some light in that's going to be where the breakers are. So, you know, don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry. We're nearly there. And if you're not happy with your painting, tell me why, and I might be able to talk you through it. If we were on Zoom, I could see pictures of it, couldn't I? I mean, perhaps we should... You can't. I've said it a million times. You can't have this many people on Zoom. No, you, you don't have them all on at the same time, but then you can get them up apparently ah. at different times. Well, apparently some people's castles are too small, some people's are too dark. They can't be. It we can't haven't put the highlights in yet, guys. They can't be too dark. Look how dark mine is now. We haven't put the highlights in on the castle. We're going to do it in a minute. Honestly. And you don't have to um, worry. Yeah, you can spend as long as... Oh, there's loads of cries. Why are they crying, Amber? Why are they crying? Amber, Amber, they're crying. Come and help me. Come and help me. You can, yeah, you can keep going as long as you want. You don't have to stop when I stop, do you? You can keep going. Well, you, you can, can sort it all it. out. Yeah, you can just stop totally and just get on with your gin and come back to it tomorrow, which is sounding like a really good thought to me. painting in the world to do and obviously we do normally use you do normally use a stencil so yeah and we that. yeah we do always when i do it in the live shows we use a stencil we don't uh so if you've got anything remotely castle like yeah and it's not the easiest thing in the world to do you know a castle honestly what we're going to do at the end is as always put a post on uh about 10 minutes, 20 minutes after we finish the session where you can all put on your finished results because it's really nice to sort of share with oh, each other. Yeah, and like um, that. yeah, that'll be on there. So keep an eye out on the page after we finish tonight. So even if you don't feel like you want to put it on. Oh, please put it please on. Please put it on because honestly, you might, everyone's too critical of themselves. And it's really nice because actually you see other people really getting involved and giving compliments to each other. Yeah. It's really lovely, actually. Bit too much yellow there, look. to get on with your castle. When you're ready for your highlights, let me know and we shall start putting the highlights in the castle. Any thumbs up? Yeah, a couple. Well, hey! Not loads, so just give it a second. I'll tell you what then, while we're waiting, we'll put some water into the, uh, the sand. Because you can mess on with this once we're finished. But the highlights, I want you all to do them with me. So I'm going to put some, um, a bit of water into the, uh, the sand. What I'm doing, guys, you, can you see, Amber, can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. I've put a bit of white on and I'm sort of rubbing it off on the side of my plate. I want sort of a dryish brush. I might even put it on my cloth. So I've got like a dryish brush and then I'm going to go like this. Oh, I'll go from the other side. Into the sand. Don't go in the sea. And there, can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. And I'm just doing that funny. I'm 
doing that thing that I did before. I haven't got the paint on the tip of my brush, I've got it on the, like, a, I don't know what you'd call that, what would you call that, under the side of your brush? Yeah. The, the edge. Yeah. Not the, no, the edge is that bit, isn't it? And then I'm going around these little, I'm going around the rocks, and just here and there, very close to the rocks, because there would be little puddles, and then I'm getting like quite a lot of white around the rocks, but then in between the sand, I'm just splodging it so it just looks wet. You don't have to do this now guys, you can do this later, it's just I'm waiting for everyone to catch up. We've got a lot of thumbs up to be fair. Oh, that's good. Right, look what I'm doing, I'm putting little bits all around the rocks, you can do this later guys. just play on with this for hours, you know, creating the, you know, we all know where the water would be with rocks, so does that look better around the look? Yeah. It does look more like the, uh... right, now I want you to get your little brush. I could find my little brush. And we're going to go with some white and yellow, so pale yellow and we are going to put highlights because the light is coming from here we're going to put highlights on this side of our castle so not too much and just in that yellow with a tiny bit of white and just on each side of where the turrets, the castles, sort of the different bits are joining on. This looks a bit deliberate at the minute, but we will sort this out in a minute, guys. Don't worry. Oh, it's from there. I've got a bit wrong there. It should have been from up there. And on some of the turrets. Just little touches here and there. very well, can you? I think if you go in a bit onto the castle, you might be able to see it a bit better. Yeah, there. There, yeah, that's better. So I've just put some little bits of light in here and there, guys. I can't see it very well. I'm actually going to put some little bits of white in there later after we've done the splashes and stuff but there you are, catch up with that, let me know when you're there. That makes it look more real doesn't it? Yeah. Look even better when we put the bits of white on guys, we'll do that in a minute. 
It's a bit wonky, all the turrets, but I think it is anyway. I think that's how it is meant to be. Right. You haven't got a steady hand with all the wine. Oh, I'm gonna have another one. Right guys, we're gonna do the fun bit in a minute. I want you all to be ready to do it with me. So thumbs up. Not many. Right, can I splodge? Can I splodge with the excitement bit, guys? Is this toothbrushes? Yes. Has everyone got their toothbrushes that are ready? Go on, pull it back a bit. There you are. Closer. is coming into the show where the, so I'm not painting I'm jabbing with a dry brush it's dry guys with a tiny bit of paint on and you want it sort of wiggling wiggling around and where we did that darker line, you want it sort of in front of the darker line. There we are. So I'm going to put little bits on the rocks, just here and there where the water might have hit them with a virtually dry brush. I'm 
might have overdone that guys, you might want quite as much as that, but up to you. I'm going to go with a dry brush, some little bits in here. And then I'm just going to pull it along here and there to a bit of the idea of water. I'm going to get my tiny brush. I'm going to get a little bit of white and I'm just going to slide it along here where the water is coming up to the rocks on the land. Just here and there. Not everywhere, you don't want a continuous line. You just want little lines here and there where the water it guys so think about where the light's coming from and just tiny little lines this would be with your eyeliner brush or if you get one of our packs guys we're gonna have a little brush in there because they are going to go and we've not only got, got so yet. many it's getting quite difficult to get some artistic uh, stuff at the minute some materials i'm finding it hard at the minute and i've got regular suppliers so i don't know how it will be for, for everyone else i think it's because a lot of people have suddenly taken to because it is therapeutic, it is mindful, it is... And it's something you wouldn't normally do, is it? Well, and it's so good for me. Right, is that looking more like a castle, eh? Yeah. Is everyone's castles coming together a bit more now, fingers crossed? I'm going to stand back, let you catch up with that and talk you through what we've done and then we're going to do the final bit. Looking more like a castle. I can't. 
the light has hit it in a very odd way. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Okay, are we all ready for the pierce de resistance? Any Put thumbs? some thumbs up in. I'm quite liking my castle. Do you think it looks like Bambara, darling? I can't tell you what it looks like off the top of my head, so... <clears throat> yeah. Where's my drink? Have you nicked my wine? No, don't worry. Well, where is it? It's over there somewhere. Have a look, darling. Have a look. Oh. It's behind you. Oh, it's behind me. I'm in a pantomime. Any thumbs, darling? I'll pull this back. Yeah, we've got some thumbs up coming in. Okay, great. Guys, we're going to do the really fun bit. Let me loose, let me loose. Here we go. Guys, I want you to get a, bra a toothbrush. Right, I'm getting a toothbrush now. Okay? Can you all see the toothbrush? Yes, we can all see the toothbrush. Okay, I'm getting some white paint, a bit of water. You want it quite flowy. Get rid of, you don't want too much, guys. So get rid of a bit of it on the side of your plate, and then you're just going to go like this. Yeah, I love that bit. Did you see that, Amber? Yes, I did. Just that splurge of paint, I think just... Really looks like the waves are hitting the rocks, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it just brings it alive. I love that bit. Yeah, and that's it, guys. It's finished. Right, what I'd like to do... I'd like to thank everyone who's donated some money to us. Um, it's really helpful. This is this is my job at the moment, and it really sort of it's really been helping us out. So brilliant. Um, but unfortunately, I've got to be very candid here that there hasn't been that many donations. If everyone just donated a five or a couple of quid, even it would make a huge difference to us at the moment. So if you could donate something, that would be great. If not, don't worry. If you haven't got anything and you can't donate, but if you could, that would be really brilliant. Thank you very much. We are going to put a little link to Mum's PayPal and also if you don't have PayPal and would still like to leave some kind of donation, you can get in touch with us privately and we'll give you our online banking and things like that just because, yeah, okay, you know, so hard if times. You've enjoyed, if you've enjoyed this evening and would like to do it again, please, please donate and uh, we'll, we'll keep going as long as we can. We have got the packs for sale and uh, so if anyone wants a pack, do get in touch and we'll sell those to you. I love the splurt at the end, do you? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to sign it. So yeah, the links for all that, all the information there is going to be on the post following this, um, this event. So I'll end the live stream in a few minutes after you've all caught up and then... Um, Where am I going to sign it, eh? Bottom right, I think. Do you think Yeah, that? I think so. So yeah, the link will be I'm on the following post, so just keep an eye out. And if you could, that'll be really fabulous. Thank you. There you are, just a little signature tonight because it's quite a busy painting. Guys, don't worry if it's not, if it hasn't come out perfectly. It's quite a tricky painting. It's not the easiest, but you can mess on now. Play on with your sky. Get it looking the way you want. You do want it to be a bit stormy, I think, but it's up to you. You could reflect. Remember, you're reflecting the colours of the sky into the sea and the wet sand. So it's all these colours reflected. Your castle was brown with touches of black, then we put in the yellow, and then right at the end we'll put those highlights in just to create the shape of all the different um, buildings 
There's a lot of funny little bits going on at Bamburgh. And then you've got the different turrets. It's approximately right, guys. Um, I've, I've, done it, I've used it from a photograph, so it should be roundabout right. But anyway, you know, have a go. We've got little bits of water at the front of the rocks, which makes the rocks look good. We'll put a little bit of white over the sand just to make it look wet. We've put a dry brush across here to create the, the foam coming in. Little bits of white just here where it's against the, uh, the rocks on the, the mainland. And then it, there we've got a big splurt that we did with a toothbrush, which I think is really effective. Don't do it if you don't like it. I just like it. So have a play around with it, guys. You don't need to stop now because we're stopping. You can play on. We're going to leave it up for a while. I'm going to go and finish my wine and perhaps have a chocolate brownie. You never know. Okay. Mm. Can you see me? Yeah. Uh, I'll pull back. Thanks very much, guys. Um, I've really enjoyed tonight. I hope you have. And I hope you've all had a drink. And it's been almost like a night out. Almost like it's a proper Tilly Painter's night. Almost. But you know, it's the best we can do at the moment. Okay guys, cheers, have a good one. See you next week. Oh, should I show what we're doing next week? Oh yes, I can show you it just quickly before we go. Guys, the kids won on Tuesday. Gosh, I nearly forgot. The kids won on Tuesday is the Bonkers Ostrich. Doesn't have to be kids though. You do that yeah. at adult sessions. It's a good one all around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a good one. Kids like it and adults like it. So yeah, it's one of the ones that we do for anyone. It's not totally for children. And here's the one. This is based off Dave's bees. Uh, the birds and the bees. It's not finished, but yeah. it's a little Dave kind of. Dave wanted us to do bees. So Amber's designed this one. We're going to do this one, which is rather beautiful. Because I said we should do the birds and bees because it's for the adult one. We will be drinking wine and she'll be swearing again like she does. All right, there Bring you it go. a bit closer. Yeah, something along those lines. Obviously, it's so, done digitally, so it'll be in real paint. But This is, is going to be Amber's job, designing things. She's going to be doing um, cards and stuff like that. She's going to university next year to do it. <laughs> so she's designed it and I'm going to paint it. Okay, brilliant. I shall see you next week. Oh, we'll do that on Thursday night, not Friday night, we think. And um, we will be drinking wine again. Okay, guys, thank you very much. I'm going to finish my wine. I'll pop this here just for a couple of minutes if people want to finish off and just get some final details on. There you are. Can you see all the bits and pieces on the castle? Yeah. Thanks, guys. Okay, Thanks, guys.